Oh, hello. How are you? Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so today I'm drinking a spiked nog and this damn wine glass. Okay, yes, I am drinking it out of a wine glass. It's like a tumbler. This is a tumbler. This was sent to me by a lovely subscriber by the name of Jennifer Bowen. So thank you so much to Jennifer. This is one of, no, I'm going to say it. This is my favorite moment of Elf. When Buddy the Elf is running through the tundra and he sees all of his claymation friends and he sees Arctic Puffin and he's like, not now, Arctic Puffin. We are doing a Will I Buy It, which I haven't done in a hot minute. And I thought, you know what? Last time it was pretty much a roast. It was pretty much an anti-haul. So why not just make this a little bit tipsier than normal? So to start the occasion off right, I took two shots of bourbon and now I am drinking a spiked eggnog combined with Riazul Añejo. And yes, that's right. I finished off the entire bottle. Tequila Añejo. And you're like, Kate, you put tequila in nog? What are you doing? No, you don't understand. This is not just a normal tequila. It is very fancy. It is very yummy. It has a very different taste to it. So if you have not seen one of these videos, let me tell you what's about to happen. This video was invented by the fabulous, the incomparable Samantha March. The reason I started making these videos is because I love Love watching them. I could watch this shit all day long. So I basically pull up an Instagram account. My go-to is Trend Mood One that is all about new releases in makeup and skincare. And then I just scroll through it and I just give you my opinions on whether or not I may or may not buy it. I'm also realizing I'm feeling a little litty right now. First thing that's coming up is the e.l.f. Oil Control Pink Powder Mask with niacinamide. You know how much I love niacinamide niacinamide and kaolin clay. It includes a pink powder mask for $8 infused with niacinamide, which helps minimize the appearance of pores and kaolin clay helps absorb excess oil. There's a pore minimizing serum. There's a say goodbye to shine mini kit. I'm kind of into the oil control pink powder mask because I like a good like detoxifying mask. I like a mask that's going to pull shit out of my face. I probably won't be getting this because I don't have oily skin. However, if you do have oily skin, I'm finding I love Elf products. Like this is a quality drugstore line. Never bought any skincare from them. So I'm kind of talking out of my ass, but like give it a whirl. It's, it's not expensive. Okay. The next thing we have here is the Way Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. So they have two different masks. They have a treatment mask for fine and medium hair and a treatment mask for thick hair. I own a Way product. I own their Wave Spray and I love it. I love the fragrance of it. I love what it does to my hair. I'm kind of interested in this actually because I do actually have fine hair. My mother used to be a hairstylist and she always told me and I know she's correct. I have fine hair but a lot of it so I might actually give this a whirl and it's also safe for color treated hair. Okay next we have what the hell is this? I don't even never even heard of this before. What is this brand? Dragon Beauty. Dragon spelled D-R-A-G-U-N Beauty. Huh. So they have some new products. They have a translucent, a translucent setting powder, ultra light, silky loose setting powder, blurring and brightening. Okay. Into that. The Forever Fantasy Setting Spray, an ultra lightweight mist. You guys know I love a mist that contains polymer droplets that merge together during application to create a barely there flexible film that helps maintain your glam from morning to night. Wow. Well, that's just science. I mean, how can we say no to that? Well, listen, I mean, I've never heard of this brand. It's the packaging is purple and I'm not against that. In fact, I'm all about it. I also am always on the lookout for like great powders because I feel like I've only found like a handful of powders that I think are exceptional. So, hey, okay, okay. This is MAC Cosmetics. This is their new Lunar New Year collection. It includes a lipstick called Lock Be A Lady Tonight. You get an extra dimension skin finish in the shade Double Gleam, which is a beige that breaks silver. I'm looking at that right now and that looks gorgeous. You guys know I'm all about like a dewy glowy situation. An eyeshadow palette which is a nine shadow palette called Sea of Plenty and I'm already loving a couple of the pops of color in that. Am I gonna get this? I don't know. If anything I would probably get the highlighter. Every Maybe the lip tint. The lip stain. Whatever. But I... 
Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I like MAC, but it, I feel like they put out so many new collections that it really has to be something that blows my hair back. You know what I mean? Oh, <sighs> Oh, yeah. Next, we have a collection from NARS. This is the Euphoria collection. I have to say, I haven't bought NARS in a hot minute, but when I started like going in hard on makeup, just loving makeup, NARS was my go-to. Okay, so this looks really, really pretty. You're getting the Euphoria palette, which is eight shadows of satin, matte, and glittering finishes, and three highlighters. Wow, that's you're getting a lot in that palette for $59. Okay, NARS. The Euphoria Face Dew, which is a lightweight multi-purpose liquid luminizer that instantly creates the look of dewy, super hydrated skin, no sparkle. And the Afterglow Lip Shine, which is a new lip gloss that is infused with raspberry seed oil and pomegranate extract to hydrate and protect against environmental aggressors. Luminescent, iridescent in five shades. Okay, I just have to say I'm into this collection. The palette looks gorgeous. You're getting a bunch of really wearable shades. It's also got pops of color which are pink and purple which are my favorite and then the highlighters you're getting so much good shit I also like the packaging of it I love a lip gloss I love you know a cream highlighter okay I might I might do this probably not but if I would highly consider it so I should also say I am taking a hint from glitter fallout so if you guys do not follow glitter fallout I've talked about Linda so much on my channel she has such a fantastic channel and she does will I buy it all the time the way she structures the video is like would I hypothetically buy this so don't be surprised if I buy almost none of these things okay but this should actually be called is what I consider buying this that's actually what it should be called on my channel so bite beauty this is very exciting they have their first ever mascara I think it's their first I've never known them to have mascara you know how important mascara is to me mascara and blush are like the two key components to a makeup look like if you could just wear two products if you could only choose two makeup products to wear I would choose mascara and blush because they instantly make you look alive and fresh. Okay, back to this mascara. So it is powered by, I'm very interested in this. This is powered by Tree Berry Wax. Grips every lash to give you buildable yet lightweight volume, volumizing, lengthening, lifting, curl enhancing, flake resistant, and smudge resistant. Holy shit. I'm getting this. 100% this is happening. Hands down, this isn't hypothetical at all. We're doing it. Next, we're moving on to another Lunar New Year Celebration. This is from Clinique. So they are releasing the Cheek Pop Highlighter in Gold Celebration Pop. This design is adorable. There is a, what is this? What is this? This looks like a, it's not a hippo. Oh, it said it, it says it at the top, Year of the Ox. Okay, just read, just read, you just need to read. I haven't bought Clinique in a hot second. I think it's because I used Clinique when I was younger. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I grew up with it and then I branched out and I kind of think of it as this brand that I used when I was like in high school and college. I know they still make fantastic things and I'm kind of loving this whole golden ox situation. So I might do it. I mean, who am I kidding? I need another highlighter like I need a hole in the head. I'm probably, oh, I might do it. I don't know. I don't know. We're on the fence. <sighs> Guys, the next product is from Tatcha. Say hello to the new addition to the Dewy family. This is the Dewy Serum by Tatcha. What? This is brimming with lactic acid, Japanese superfoods, plant-derived hyaluronic acid, and renewable sugar cane-derived squalane. Be still my beating heart. That is just, that's too much. Wow. Wow. Okay. This is $88. That is, that is super, that's expensive. Love Tatcha. Again, I have like about 10 serums I'm currently using. So definitely not a need. I don't know. You know what? We're just going to keep this on the back burner. That's what we're going to do. Okay. I have never heard of this cosmetics company. This is Glam Vice Cosmetics and they have released the Duochrome Retro Liners Collection. It includes eight different shades. I, um, 
I probably won't use this. I'm probably not gonna buy those, but they look really beautiful. And if you're a person who is into really like colorful, experimental eyeshadow looks, this looks right up your alley. I'm just boring as hell. So I'm probably not gonna do these. Okay, I do feel like I need this. So this is from ColourPop. It is their The Wine Collection. ColourPop is coming out with new releases like a bitch, okay? ColourPop just can't stop. I just need ColourPop to stop with the new releases and start just restocking my favorites. But anyway, I will forgive them because I do like this collection. It comes with a palette. It comes with a liquid liner. It comes with Super Shock blushes. It comes with Super Shock shadows, which are my favorite eyeshadows point blank. It also, oh wow, it also comes with a Vino Serum Boost from 4th Ray Beauty, which is their skincare line. Okay, this is right up my alley. I love these berry shades. I feel like they're also perfect for winter. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to get that. So what we have here is the Morphe 2. Wait, what's Morphe 2? I'm so out of the loop on Morphe. I don't even know what's happening. The Morphe 2 skincare line. Say hello to clean ingredients and super effective formulas that make skincare simple. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you right now. I mean, it comes with all this skin. I'm not gonna get skincare from Morphe. I mean, who are we kidding? Okay, so this is from Juvia's Place. This is a new collection called the Disco Fever Collection. I mean, I would buy it just because of what it's called. I love disco. We're about to watch the whole Bee Gees thing on Netflix or whatever the hell it's on. This looks incredible. This palette of blues is calling my name and also I've never tried Juvia's Place. I love a blue eyeshadow and I think the reason I love it is because it just screams retro. Like you know like a robin's egg blue is giving you like a very sort of 60s situation. This palette is giving you a 70s situation. I love that. Also Bargains. This palette is 10, wait hold on, Disco Fever, oh okay yeah the Disco Fever eyeshadow palette is $10. If you get it with the gloss it's $21. This might be it. This might be the moment I dive into Juvia's place. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so next we have something from Supergoop. This is another brand that I actually have never tried. This is the Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF 40. Okay, that's that's good. My go-to SPF right now is the Glossier Invisible Shield and I love it. But if you can do a two-in-one situation, they're killing the game. If you can do a two-in-one situation with vitamin C end with SPF, I might have to do this. Okay, next we have something from Danessa Myrix. Myrix, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. This particular product is the Balm Contour, an easy to use, weightless, super blendable and buildable balm to give your cheekbones a natural, effortless, yet impactful, lifted and sculpted appearance. Oh, it's infused with skincare. That's nice. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, flower extract, Yadish Matabata. Guys, I'm just not into a contour. I'm just not. I'm into a bronzer. I'm into a bronzer, but I'm not into a contour. So I'm definitely not going to get this. Oh, that was real cut and dry. Okay, now we're moving on to something from Benefit. This is ugh, another pore professional product. A new addition to the pore professional family. This is the pore professional super setter. Okay, so this is a setting spray. This could... This this could be good. I just, I've tried some of their primers and I've just been kind of like, eh, but it says it has a micro fine mist that helps makeup stay put, minimizes the appearance of pores and leaves skin feelings. I, I, I have like three of these things. I'm not going to get this. Wow. This wine only collection from ColourPop is really just popping up all the time. I don't know. It's overexposed. I might not get it. Just kidding. I'm going to get it. It's about wine. Mm. Bougie. This is Gucci. They've come out with a new foundation and primer. So I'm definitely going to watch Michelle's review before I buy this, but this is the Fluide de Beauté Fini Naturel natural finish fluid foundation. Thank you, Gucci. Do we need the French and the English? Nothing against French. I took six years of it and I have nothing to show for it except for my excellent pronunciation, if I do say so myself. Okay, so this is adjustable coverage. You don't hear about that very often. Adjustable coverage, lightweight, buildable, long wearing formula, silky smooth foundation achieves the ultimate natural finish. Okay, maybe this is when I invest in Gucci. And then you also get the Serum de Beauté Fluid Soyeux Primer. I have so much makeup at this point, as does any beauty YouTuber that you watch, that it's like, I feel like I have to really hone in. It's gotta be something that really knocks my socks off. Primer 
summers oftentimes don't really do it for me, so I'm not gonna get that. But I will say this foundation does actually sound right up my alley. Okay, so this I have heard about and I'm actually quite interested in this. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm not really into a powder foundation. I don't have any powder foundations, but I feel like that's the reason I need this powder foundation. I tend to love most things from Fenty Beauty. They haven't really disappointed and I do love their Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So I kind of want to give this a shot. This is the Longwear Light as Air No Flashback Blur Filter Complex for a blurred finish, sweat, humidity, increase, resistant, buildable, light to full coverage, won't settle in the fine lines, clog pores or cake up, reduces the appearance of shine, soft matte finish, 50 shades. Wow. I'm willing. I kind of want to try it. I'm into it. Let's do it. Okay. So next we have a product from Wet n Wild. This is called Marshmallow Lip Mousse or Cloud Pout. Light as a cloud, matte, buildable and blendable with argon oil, avocado oil and vitamin E with marshmallow powder. What the fuck is marshmallow powder? In six different shades. Okay. Now this is sounding a little bit like my favorite product. One of my favorite products of the year which is the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle. Maybe this is like the drugstore version of that. I don't know. Again, I might have to watch some reviews. But if I hear about it being good, I go in on that. Okay, so next we have a product from Milani. And I will say Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. This is the Supercharged Collection, which includes a supercharged cheek and lip multi-stick. So we love a cream blush. A supercharged brightening under eye tint. What? What is, what is that? Instantly color corrects and illuminates under eyes with color correcting pigments and micro fine pearls. Huh. A brightening prep mask, a dewy skin primer. Okay. I don't know that I'm looking to drugstore brands to give me like top of the line skincare. Don't come for me. Why? What's wrong with drugstore? Why are you hating? <laughs> but I will say, I mean, I would, I would give Milani a whirl. I would because I've been impressed by some of their stuff. Maybe we'll see next thing is candles for the holiday season from kim kardashian west fragrance i'm not gonna buy anything from a kardashian so we're gonna move on okay and last but not least i am kind of going a little bit further back but i have had so many this is no lie i've had so many people write me and be like have you gotten the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops yes indeed i have i just got them yesterday in the mail i put them on mafache right before I put my makeup on today. This is a glow brightening product. It is skincare. It's also a great way to prep your skin for makeup. I learned about this from Trend Mood One, so I feel like it's not too off topic to bring it up. I love this as an addition to my serum. I'm using it as my last step for all my serums. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys, that's the end of this. Thank you so much for joining me for my second ever Will I Buy It? This is just not, this glass is not appetizing right now. I'm so sorry, but it is delicious. I encourage you guys to go get some nog, pour it some, spike it, spike the nog, and then go and look at some new releases and judge them for yourself. If you guys enjoy this, I would love if you'd let me know in the comments. You better have your plugs in because I don't want you to, I don't want you to hear me filming the shit. I'll wait. Mm. Yeah.